In today's idea of the day, I'd like to talk a little bit about what it means to be a real Star Wars fan. And I do this because if you've looked at my channel or followed it and hopefully you've subscribed to it, I talk about Star Wars from time to time and it's definitely the most popular category of thing that I talk about on the ideatheday.com channel. Um, and the interesting thing about it is if you read some of the comments, and I get hundreds and hundreds of comments on some of these videos and they've been seen thousands of times, um, a lot of people are wondering, well, is that because you're a fan or are you just poking fun of it? And the reality of it is that's what it really means to be a fan of Star Wars. It's like I'm not poking fun at Star Wars. And when somebody says something about what the way the canon is put together and little plot holes that come up there, it doesn't mean that we, we don't enjoy it. It's sort of like rooting for the Yankees or the Mets or whoever your favorite team is. You know they're going to get to the to plate you know, X number of times and there are going to be a lot of balls and strikes and there's going to be some outs and there's going to be some... It, it, you're going to give away a lot of runs. The, the bottom line is you can't always win, but you still cheer for the team in spite of all those you know, foul balls and in spite of the bad plays, you cheer on the team. And that's what it means to be a real fan of Star Wars. We know the prequels weren't perfect, but let's face it, as much as people like to complain about them, it did fill in some storyline holes. It did kind of give some backstory. It does have some value. It's going to give us a lot of material to fill in even more spaces with things like Rogue One and the other anthologies that are going to come, come along the way. We'll see more of Darth Vader. We'll see all this other stuff. So to sit there and say, well, everything that, that he did prior to, to uh, the uh, original Star Wars is garbage, and to, and to not poke fun at the stuff that we see. Look, we want to cheer for Star Wars. We want the next Star Wars movies to always be great. And when we see something that kind of goes blah, you know, it's just like sitting there and watching your team do a bad play. It's okay to throw out the old Raz make fun of them and, 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 and hope they get back to the plate and, and hit it out of the park next time. So for what it's worth, if you want to be a real Star Wars fan, don't take any of these kinds of criticisms too seriously. Don't take the whole thing too seriously. Enjoy the movies. Talk about the movies. Talk about the plot holes. Like when if you watch the uh, Kevin Smith movies, he, he has lots of scenes where they just kind of just, you know, they talk about, oh, well, well the, the Emperor wouldn't have done this, and, and why would the Emperor do that, and, and, and what's Vader doing with this guy? That's what being a real fan is all about. And if you like that sort of thing, by all means, subscribe to my channel. I can't promise that all my videos are going to be about Star Wars, but when I do, you'll just enjoy them just like everybody else. And maybe you'll like the other stuff, too, because some of them don't suck. And that's today's Idea of the Day. So, hey, thanks for watching. I don't really need any subscribers, but it would really be nice if you hit the subscribe button and shared this with your friends and told everybody how nice it is to be here and how there's lots of nice ideas every day. That would be nice. I don't need subscribers or anything like that. All I need is maybe this chair. And that's it, nothing else. Except maybe this paddleball game, the remote control, the ashtray, and the lamp. But that's it. I don't need anything else. Thanks.